Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Let's Draw! Today, we're going to be drawing this... Rainbow Breathing Dragon? Cool! This week for our artwork, we're going to sketch using colour pencils. And we're going to use our three levels of drawing to help us with our artwork. At level one, using a colour pencil, we're going to sketch and draw just our basic dragon. At level two, we're going to use colour pencils to add in some colour. And at level three, we're going to use a really cool shading technique for our background using a pencil sharpener, pencil shavings, and our finger. Well, how about that? All right, so let's take a closer look at what we're going to need today. For today, you're going to need some colour pencils, a sharpener, some black markers, a ruler, rubber. Just remember, if you don't have these things, just use whatever you have available at home. Okay, so, who's ready to draw? I know I am. Say it with me then. One, two, three, let's draw! All right, to start off with, we're going to sketch a round circular shape for the dragon's head. And then we're going to sort of have a little bit of a point. So we're sort of rounding it off so it's almost an oval shape, but with a little bit of a point there, which will be the, uh, the nose of the dragon. Adding on some horns, so we don't quite go all the way, so we're not going to fully draw this, so we're just lightly sketching out where the horns will go. And then add in a circular shape for the dragon's eye. So again, it's slightly oval shaped for the eye. And now we're going to draw in some more horns, and these are running down the center or across the center of the dragon's head. So we've just got three here, and the last one is slightly curved. Adding some more little details to the dragon's eye. So I've got some little reflection marks there, and I'm gonna add some little eyelashes. So mine's a female dragon. Remember, as we sketch, we can sketch lightly and then we darken up our lines as we draw when we're happy with where things are. So I'm just sort of rounding off um, some of those things there and then starting to add in a lighter line. So I've got a big curved line that's going to be the dragon's body. So just sketching things out lightly. Just remember you can pause this video if you need to, if it's going too fast for you. Just pause, sketch, and then unpause and, and draw a little bit more. So I've added in um, some more detail to the body here. And now I'm going to sketch out some arms and legs. So I've got a curved rounded line here for the dragon's first arm. I've got a circle there, which is going to be the dragon's little foot. And then over on the other side, have two more arms and legs. So just some rounded lines there. And as I draw, I can darken up where things are going to go to finalize where I'm, where I'm happy with them. Adding in a little bit more detail now. So this is going to be the belly of our little dragon. And we add on a wing. So another big curved line coming around the back here. Some big loop lines for the wing. And then some curved lines in between there. Add on some more sort of spikes now on the back, slightly rounded, so not too sharp. It's a friendly dragon after all, so nice rounded lines. And I've got some 
more that I'll add on to the bottom so they sort of start off big and then get slightly smaller adding on some more detail to the little dragon's belly some more little details there on the spikes of the dragon just to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional and now we're going to draw our flame. So for the flame or the fire that's coming out, uh, we've got curved lines coming out and around. And I've got some other little curved bits of the fire coming off as well. Remember, this is going to be a rainbow breathing dragon. So I've got another set of lines on the inside as well. Just adding in some more little details on the dragon's feet. So a little love heart there on one foot and then some other little oval shapes for the little toes. And we're up to outlining. So remember with our level one drawing, we're just drawing the basic shape or the basic drawing. So if you wanted to leave it at just your pencil work, you can or we can go into adding our lining. So this is still part of our level one. So we're going to use a black marker to outline everything that we've drawn so far. Okay, here we go, level two. So we're gonna to start to add in our color. I've used color pencils, and I'm making my dragon a rainbow colored dragon. So I'm using a light pink to start off with, then adding in a darker pink, and I'll put the pencils on the side here so you can see what colors I use. But remember, you don't have to use those same colors. Alrighty, next is a red. So using a darker red here. Followed by an orange, then a yellow, next is green, and a blue. Now I haven't used purple because I end up colouring in my dragon purple. So as I said before, you don't have to use those colors if you don't want to. If you want yours to be just purely a green and yellow dragon, then absolutely, it could be whatever colors you like. So here on the wings, I'm using those same colors in that same order, um, just adding in slightly different shading here. So I haven't got sections, so I'm just blending those colors in together. So you don't have to use these same colors as me. You can use whatever colors you like. If you wanted your dragon to be a black and white dragon, or you might have it be a uh, pink and polka dot dragon. So the choice is absolutely yours. Now onto the fire. So for the fire, again, I'm using those same colors. So using those rainbow colors in the same order, so starting off with the light pinks and then into the reds. So I'm sort of blending my colors into each other as I draw along. Now in a moment, as you'll see, when I get to the end for the inside part of the flame, I'm actually going to flip it and reverse it. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So adding in some more yellow, uh, as I blend my colors, what I mean by blending is when I add down a color, I'm blending it into the next color. So as I add, it, add the next color, I actually color it so it bleeds into the previous color that I've just done. So when I start to add in my blue in a moment, I'm going to bleed that down so it sort of overlaps the green. 
So just adding a little bit more color here and then with my blue, so I'm gonna color in the rest of it blue, but when I add the blue, it sort of uh, bleeds down into the green a little bit. So that's how we get that sort of transition from each color into the next. So here's what I was talking about reversing. So I finished with blue. So this time I'm starting with the blue. So that way we've got a bit of a contrast between the colors. If I was just to start off with pink again, then it would look like it was all the one color all the way through. So on the inside of the flame, I'm doing the reverse now and I'm blending those colors again into each other. So that way they just stand out a little bit more. So finishing off with the pink. And I'm gonna use a black here for the spikes, just shading lightly. A pink for the bottom of the dragon's little feet and toes. And to finish off our level two part of the drawing, I'm going to color in the rest of my dragon using a purple. Just as I'm finishing up, I use a thin fine liner now, just to add in some more little details here and there. So just adding in some little cross hatching and some shading. Welcome to level three. Okay, so for level three, we're going to draw a square rectangular shape in the background. Square or rectangle is completely up to you. So using a ruler, I'm going to rule some straight lines. So I'm just drawing it lightly across. So we're not taking up the whole page. We're just having a little bit of a square or rectangular shape behind our dragon. So I've sketched it out or drawn it out lightly using a color pencil to start with. And then I'm going to go back over it with a black marker. Now, this is a really cool technique. We're gonna use pencil shavings to add some color into our background. 
So what I'm doing is I'm sharpening the pencil first. So I've got a nice sharp pencil and then I place just the tip or the lead of the pencil inside of the sharpener so that as I turn it and as I sharpen the pencil, I'm getting all those shavings. So I'm using the different colors from that I used to color in the dragon and I'm just sharpening the edge of the pencil so I'm getting all of those shavings and then I'm using my finger to smudge all of those shavings into the page. So it creates a really cool sort of uh, a light technique um, with those colors and we can blend those colors in as well. So like I colored our dragon before, I'm going through each of those colors that I use and I'm blending them in together. Um, you'll see that also as I get all the shavings on, you'll be left with a little bit of a mess on there after you've um, sort of blended it in with your finger. So you'll see I just sort of blow, blow those shavings off of the page. So I'll just finish up with our final colors. So adding in our green and our blue. A few little tidy ups here and there. And that's it, we're done. How did you go with your artwork today? Did you just stick with level one? Or did you add some colour at level 2? Or did you go all the way and make it to level 3? I think it's a really cool technique adding in those pencil shavings and blending those colours together. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can drop a comment below if there's something that you'd like to see me draw in a future episode. Just like Makolo did! That's right! Well done Makolo! You requested that I draw a rainbow breathing dragon, and here it is. I can't wait to see your artwork, as well as everyone else's, and don't forget to stay creative.